we are now going to start improving our activity file API with new features in this section. The major headlines will be file uploading, hypermedia, scaling, and versioning. Let's get started with file uploading. We are going to add a new feature to our Tweet file API by allowing file uploads. Since we are building a service that will look like Twitter, as you all know that you can upload files in Twitter, sending and displaying pictures will be an essential part of our API. On top of that, we are also going to defend our API against common security vulnerabilities that comes with image uploading operations. So we are going to handle and process files. We need to make sure that we do it properly and in the right track. But first, let's focus on the new design of our API. With this file uploading feature, just remember the part where we turned our API into a read-write API. We had created a new route to turn our API from a read API to a read-write API. Therefore, we need to consider the routes again. What are we going to do with uploading files into our messages? The first thing we can say is that we will still be creating messages. The only difference is going to be uploaded files. Since we are still creating a message, I think our post route will still work. It's awesome, isn't it? But anyways, we need to make some changes which will change everything at all. We will be able to upload files, images into our messages. It's going to be magnificent. Trust me. Last time we were only accepting basic text fields, but this time we need to modify our API to also accept images. At first glance, it may look like we need to reconsider the route from the beginning. I mean changing the post route with or without images. Fortunately, it's much more easier than that because the incoming files are retrieved by a single function and treated as an array like always with PHP's files array. So therefore the processing behind the route changes but the user's view of the API never changes. And I'm glad to tell you that although we are making a major change in our API since it will be an optional parameter, it's going to be completely backward compatible. The users will completely be unaware of this major change. Really nice job. In the following videos, we will make these changes for real in the code. Congratulations so far. And another thing I would like to say before ending this video. At first, this major change may intimidate you because it's major. After you see the amount of change we will make on the code, you may be a little surprised because most of your code won't change at all. And this shows the power of our framework. 